Hi guys, welcome back to our channel and in today's video we are going to determine the Lewis structure for XeF2O. It has a chemical name of xenon oxy tetrafluoride and to know its structure we are first going to look at the number of valence electrons for this molecule. Xenon here has 8 valence electrons, fluorine has 7 valence electrons and oxygen has 6 valence electrons. In total we have 8 plus 14 plus 6, 28 valence electrons. Now that we know the number of valence electrons, we can start putting the atoms and its electrons around it. So xenon will, uh, will take the central position over here, fluorine atoms will go on this side and will place the oxygen atom on the upper side of the xenon atom. Now to show the bonds, we are going to place a pair of electrons between xenon and fluorine atoms, xenon and oxygen atoms. Doing that, we will be using up 6 valence electrons out of 28 and now we are left with 22 valence electrons. Now here if you see, each fluorine atom already has 2 valence electrons which means it just needs 6 valence electrons more to have a complete octet. So we are first going to fill the octets of fluorine atoms by putting 6 valence electrons each which is similar for oxygen atom as well. So we are going to place 6 valence electrons around oxygen atom as well. Now we are left with only 4 valence electrons and as fluorine and oxygen atoms have complete octet, we are going to place these 4 electrons on xenon atom because xenon can accommodate more than 8 valence electrons in its outer shell. So now you might think that this is the Lewis structure for xenon oxy tetrafluoride but let's check the formal charges of all the atoms in this structure because generally the elements that can have expanded octets have a little bit different uh, Lewis structure and, and as they can accommodate more it is always recommended to check their formal charges. So um, xenon here has more than 8 valence electrons as you can see and to calculate the formal charges you can either use this formula that we are going to use right now or you can also use the formal charge calculator that we have linked in our description box. So we are going to uh, determine the formal charges and check if this is the uh, relevant Lewis structure. Here xenon has 8 valence electrons out of which 4 are non-bonding, 6 are bonding which gives it a charge of plus 1. For oxygen, it is 6 valence electrons, 6 are non-bonding and 2 are bonding which means it has a charge of minus 1. Fluorine atoms have 7 valence electrons out of which 6 are non-bonding, 2 are bonding and it has a charge of 0. So here if you see xenon has a charge of plus 1 and oxygen has a charge of minus 1. Now you might argue that this structure could be accepted because plus 1 minus 1 will be equals to 0. So the entire charge on this molecule will be 0. But when we are trying to determine the Lewis structure of the molecules, we try to opt for the structure in which all atoms have charges near to 0. So we can try that by shifting a pair of electrons from the oxygen atom in the center because as I mentioned xenon can hold more than 8 electrons in its outer shell. So we can try that by shifting a pair of electrons and check if it gives us formal charges of 0 on all atoms. Doing that now we have 8 valence electrons out of which 4 are non-bonding and 8 are bonding for xenon giving it a formal charge of 0. For oxygen it is 6 valence electrons out of which 4 are non-bonding and 4 are bonding giving us a charge of 0 on oxygen atom as well. And for fluorine it is similar because it has 7 valence electrons out of which 4 are non-bonding and 4 are bonding. So now all the atoms in this structure have formal charges of 0 which means this is the most relevant lowest structure for XeF2O. Always remember to check the formal charges of the molecules in which atoms can have expanded octets to ensure that the lowest structure you are coming up with is relevant. And I hope this video helps you to understand the lowest structure of XeF2O. For more such videos on lowest structure, molecular geometry, polarity of the molecules, make sure to subscribe to our channel. And thank you for watching.